Welcome to Akai MPCX SE registration video. The process these days, it's simple slash complicated. It takes time and you have to follow certain guidance. So our suggestion for today is that you start doing it when you have more time. The last thing you want to do is to rush this process and be anxious. You need to calm yourself down and kind of follow the instruction step by step. We have a protective cover for the screen, what comes with the unit. Quick start guide, USB cable, and of course power supply. The screen cover, it's movable. On the back you've got input 1, 2, input 3, 4, outputs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. You've got main, left and right. MIDI outs, MIDI ins, so two MIDI ins, four MIDI outs, USB cable, SD card, inserts, you could insert your guitar or bass, you've got the main level for it and of course for the headphones you've got two different jacks and this is very important our screen is covered with the plastic protection please remove it before using We have all the cables connected to the unit. Now it's time to register it. Let's power the unit for the first time. We'll press the next. Just follow the instruction on the screen. Please connect your MPC to the internet. Check for the latest software and update. So we're going to load something. Okay, the song is loaded. So when I hit play, I should hear some sounds. All right, so this is the indication that uh, unit is working. It's connected to audio interface to the computer. Now let's um, download the software through the internet, uh, connect the unit to the internet as well. To connect the Wi-Fi to the unit, you will go to Menu, Button, Preferences, hit the Wi-Fi, it's searching for uh, available names, select Wi-Fi, 
known to you, connect. Do it. And voila. You go back to preferences. Boom. Menu. This is how you roll back to the previous window. MPC version is available online. Would you like to download and install? Update now. Do you want to shut down your MPC? Shut down. Now, so it's very important that we update the unit to the newest software because we don't know how you know how long this unit was sitting in the storage room so now this gives us a this will assure us that the unit it's going to work on the newest um, guidance Once the update is done, it's time to go online and register the unit. Okay, in just a few seconds, Abe Akai is going to be ready to go with all the updates. So this is exciting and... Uh, yeah, welcome to MPC. Done. Of course, you play next. Please connect. Let's see if this unit remembers the Wi Fi. New plugin instruments are available. You must first download the installer. You must first download and install the content files. Open Preferences and select Active Plugins tab. Preferences and select Active Plugins. Preferences, Active Plugins. Get connected, log in. Okay, we're going to snap the photo. Device that Akai Pro dot com. So now I enter that code that they gave me v and submit now since i'm new to this page i'm going to create account from scratch so we are going to enter Piotr Kowalczyk, email Piotr at royalcomposer.com. And uh, I'm going to create some kind of password. What I have to repeat. Choose the country. United States. Next step. Which brands are you interested in? Of course, Akai. And uh, I agree. Privacy in terms use. 
Of course, otherwise you won't be able to register anything. Confirm. Please check your email to confirm your account. Once you have confirmed email, you will need to restart the login flow via your application again. Okay. So I'm going to my email. Uh, hmm. That's the one. Confirm the account. Boom. Now there is a window, my registered products. And I have to register a new product. Since registration number, it's on the back of the unit. I'm going to slip my phone with the camera pointing that number. I'm going to snag the picture because we didn't know that it's there. Okay, so the software recognized the product what we purchased and PC access e, um, hmm, register your product. All you have to do is just now just click on that. So I found my old slip May 4th. Turns out I purchased the unique made fourth guitar center and now just and that's it so now the product has been registered Read this information because it's very important. Turns out, please first download and run the MPC2 installer. So, of course, the installer got sub pages, which you have to just follow. So, just be patient. Welcome to your new PC. Follow this MPC, follow the steps on the right to install. So, this is the first step. All right, you agree. hard drive, computer, it's gonna take only one gigabyte, so it's good. Install MPC drive, your computer must restart. Wow. All right, so we are going to restart the computer now. And then once we download this, we are going to continue with our recording, okay? As you see, the process is pretty straightforward. Unfortunately, there's lots of steps. This is the step, several different steps to achieve our results. And the last thing you want to do is to be rushed through the process. If I go here and I scroll, that nothing to relate to Akai MPCX. You can find your serial number of the MPC2 in your in music account. You find the MPCX, you press this plus button, you go to this page on the right, 
and there is a serial number which you copy and then you paste it into the activation window. Then the next step is license account login. I have the iLock account under Mieta91. Please select the activation location and successful activation. Congratulations. So you've got access to this um, software. You can always download another version. This version showed up. And of course, we are dealing with another sub page what says um, software, the newest version is available. Download update. And you just follow the instruction, you download the same thing. So you see, like, they make it easy, but also complicated. That's why I mentioned earlier that we need a couple of hours. In order to synchronize your MPC XSE with MPC2, all you have to go to go to menu and then on the right upper corner you've got this MPC chip. All you have to do is just press it and control mode, you confirm and basically MPC-XSE is going to synchronize with the software. So now when I press the button, my software will respond to the touch and we have a dual control of the entire setup. Registering any product these days could be very difficult. We follow the process, we kind of presented the process to you. Uh, just follow the instruction and you should be all set. We like this idea of combining the hard unit with software so they communicate with each other and we've got kind of like a dual stimulation um, in our recording studio. Okay, so this is the registration process. Next videos are going to kind of expose the power behind the software, the power behind the unit, and uh, we are going to take our music production to the next level, step by step. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Piotr Kowalczyk. Please sign up for our channel, Motocam, soon.